The Geological Survey was uh, founded in 1907. It's actually in the Constitution, which is uh, something we're kind of proud of. We have a large public service uh, component to our job. So we uh, have questions from citizens in Oklahoma, from uh, various government agencies. The uh, work has a long shelf life because uh, you're doing fundamental uh, description of rocks uh, on the surface, underground. The Mewburn College was created in part to provide the opportunity for our students to have background and an opportunity to study both the engineering disciplines that relate to oil and gas and to rocks, fluid flow through rocks, and the geosciences. The Oklahoma Geological Survey actually fits into the college several ways. We run a very extensive rock core facility that is managed for the public, but also our students use that in some of their studies. One of the roles of the uh, a state geological survey, like the Oklahoma Geological Survey, is basic geologic mapping. The, the most useful kind of geologic map is at a scale of what we would call 1 to 24,000. Detailed enough for resource evaluation, Right now, one of the topics that's a, a large topic or a significant topic in the public uh, view are earthquakes. We have earthquakes here in Oklahoma, sort of above what the background rate for the stable interior of the continent is. We have um, about 15 seismic stations uh, spread around the state. These stations are basically really sensitive microphones if you want to think of them like that. They don't listen for sound, they listen for sound inside the ground, which is a vibration, um, but it's not vibrating air, it's vibrating the rock. And so we see earthquakes uh, from around the world with these instruments, but then also, of course, the earthquakes that occur here in Oklahoma. In my job as a hydrogeologist, I study groundwater mainly, but generally um, study water resources. In the state of Oklahoma, the primary use for groundwater is for irrigation, irrigated agriculture. Secondary water user is for public water supply. My role, I think, is to, to try to identify the, the major water issues that the state faces and find the, the overlap between water issues and geology. Ken Luz's work in the uh, Lead Zinc District is a, a, a major environmental effort, one of our major environmental efforts, because that's a super fun site. Water began discharging uh, from a borehole in Commerce in uh, November of 1979, and it was designated as the Tar Creek Superfund site. The governor formed a task force, which included 24 uh, state agencies, individuals, uh, federal agencies to come up with a, a plan to try to deal with acid mine drainage. EPA is trying to uh, remediate the outlying areas to reduce or shrink the size down to something manageable. The Oklahoma Geological Survey differs in some ways from a lot of state surveys, certainly the eastern state surveys. We, we have a strong oil and gas uh, influence. Well, the oil and gas industry is, of course, huge uh, part of Oklahoma's history and uh, past and, and present and, and future. We've learned lessons about uh, maintaining these databases that for a while people aren't interested in a certain topic or a certain type of uh, piece of data, then something happens and all of a sudden they're very glad that you have it. One thing I think it's important to know is, is, is that our work, and, and that of all state geological surveys, is, is available to the public. We try and make it available in hard copy, but in addition, of course, nowadays, everything is, is, is available online. So, and it's available, at least from the Oklahoma survey, free to the public. I know that the work that I'm doing is going to be improved upon in, 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 in the future. That is the nature of geology. What I hope will happen is that they will look at the work we're doing and say, wow, they did a fine job on a general scale, but now I'm going to refine what they did. In the same sense that we're refining what geologists did 40 years ago. The science of geology and geophysics, that is the foundation of what you do. It is the heart and soul of understanding planet Earth. And we live on planet Earth. We ought to be nice to it. <laughs>